Okay, everybody, it is me, Greg Manorino, post-market wrap-up on this. <laughs> Just lovely, I'm laughing already. Lovely, beautiful, completely fake. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a moment. Uh, Thursday, February what? 2nd. Yes, I did, did I say that already? 2023. The market is all well and good. Did you watch the NASDAQ today? How about just this week alone? Okay, forget about today. Let's remove today. The NASDAQ has put on 5%. Today, another 3% for the NASDAQ. S&P 500, about 1, 1.5%. Fractional loss for the Dow Jones Industrial Average here, but none of that really matters here. It doesn't honestly matter when you have the environment we're in. It's This is seriously got to be something for the history books. We have a situation here. Focus on this for a moment. We have a situation, I'm going to laugh, where the Federal Reserve just yesterday raised rates again, 25 basis points. But meanwhile, the U.S. 10-year yield basically almost fell through a cliff. Central banks around the world raising rates, charging more for the debt they're issuing to everyone, including nations and everything else, and global bond yields drop. This is a Herculean effort by central banks, obviously, to keep rates suppressed. And I believe this is going, going to go on until, I, I don't know when, all right, until, it, well, I do know when. When they're ready, when they feel, when these central banks believe that they've maxed out the system, they've created more slaves to the system, more dependency on the system here as the world economy continues to crater, that's when they're going to pull the plug on the market. But this could be a sustained period of time. From what I understand, and uh, I don't know if this is true, but Michael Burry did take down or... His Twitter account doesn't exist anymore. I guess people are giving him a lot of uh, a lot of flack. Look, the man isn't wrong, okay? Michael, I'm not calling you out. I said you were wrong in the short term. In the longer term, Michael is dead on. He's dead on accurate. This whole fantasy land, la-la land, you know, not only elemental chart environment here, is going to collapse. The entire, forget about the markets of the world, okay? The entire global financial system is going to implode on itself by design. This is what central banks are leading to. They, they need a new system. The current system is dying. How do we know that? Because without the added liquidity that we're seeing here in the debt market, the uh, incredible amount of, of buying here in the debt market to keep rates suppressed. Understand, this this mechanism just doesn't go on autopilot. You understand? When a central bank, any central bank, uh, wants to get in here and play around with the yield curve, uh, play around with keeping rates suppressed, they have to get into the market. They can't just say it. So, and it's kind of interesting. I, get, I mean, seriously, uh, realizing that central banks are raising rates, but yields are dropping. Um, wow. Uh, can I get a wow, please? That's a new one. Um, but anyway, going back to, to Michael here, the man is correct. Uh, on a scale that maybe some of you understand, the system we're in now is phasing out. It's, it's being phased out in favor of a new system. Completely digital, 100% fiat. There's not a shot in hell or heaven, or any place in between that we're going to be getting a gold standard back, a gold-backed currency, it's not going to happen. Why? If you don't know already, because, again, this would strip central banks of all their power. Let's just say, for example, if uh, world leaders, okay, the world leaders are the central banks, but let's just say a, a president, okay, United States president said, you know what? We're done with central banks. We're going to go back to a gold standard or a wealth-based system. Central banks would die, all of them at that point, but that president would end up dead himself, okay? Central bank's power is unlimited at this point. Why? Just as an example, you know this already, the Federal Reserve has the full backing of the United States military, its whole arsenal, including its nuclear arsenal. They will point that in or out 
at anyone that tries to take away their power. A central bank's power resides in one thing, their ability to issue debt, period. It's a debt-based system. They've created this. We've allowed this to happen. Understand? So forget about ever going back to a gold-backed system or a gold-backed currency or a commodity-backed currency. It can't happen. All right, this would take away central bank's power. They will not allow that. But again, going back to Michael Burry, he, he sees what we see. His timing's off. I don't know. You see, it's the thing. No one can time this, okay? It's an impossibility. But understanding how cash is moving through the market, understanding that the debt market is the driver bar number one. Number one. I mean, look, look, just let's just talk a little bit more about that. So understanding the NASDAQ today, 5% just for the week, 3% today alone, S&P 500 putting on some gains as well. The Dow didn't do too much fractional loss here, but could you imagine, for example, if we would have had the relative strength of the dollar play? Relative strength of the dollar did not play today. We had a knee jerk higher. There was a little fear underlying what's going on here. So you got that knee jerk higher into the dollar when a relative strength basis, it went up. Also crude oil didn't come up, up the back door. You know what I'm talking about? So you need these, this unholy trinity here to, to really get this market going. If in fact we would have had, let's just say for example, a weaker dollar on a relative strength basis, if we would have had crude oil playing here, this 3% this higher on the NASDAQ would have been 6%. The Dow would have been up 2 3%, 4% th maybe, S&P 500, same thing. So understanding these little dynamics in, in play keeps you in the know, you realize what's going on here, but it's not gonna change nothing or anything, should I say here. We're not gonna deviate ever from our plan. Our plan is very, very simple. Betting against the debt, which is gonna to continue to inflate. Becoming our own central bank, holding hard assets, physical gold and silver, since day one. Eventually, Michael Burry, me, a lot of you out here who realize where this is going, it's going to happen. And the real meltdown, people, is not where everyone's looking. Well, everyone is looking at the stinking stock market, more specifically 30 companies. What do you think, for example, you turn on CNBC, you turn on Bloomberg, you turn on Fox Business, it's all about the Dow, the Dow, the Dow. We're talking about 30 companies. That's it. They very rarely address the broader market, which is the S&P 500. The NASDAQ's getting a lot of attention. Why? Because it's, <laughs> we're getting some significant gains here. And why, why are all these gains showing up? Mass layoffs. People are losing their jobs like there's no tomorrow. For some people, there isn't any tomorrow that are losing their jobs right here. But you remember what happened? You remember what Federal Reserve President Mary Daly said? In order for inflation to come down, people need to lose their jobs. I say let's start with hers, and then we move on to the rest of the Federal Reserve freaks, including the chairperson himself. These central banks have, have set this up in an incredible way, and again, I know it bothers you probably as much as me, I would assume, so think about it again. They've allowed inflation to manifest itself. This, there's no way they didn't know this was gonna happen by money creation, asset purchases like we've never seen before in the history of the world. This obviously has diluted the global money pool, and now you have all these extra bills in whatever form they exist chasing a lesser amount of goods, and boom, you get inflation. That's what the issue is, you understand? Now that they've created a situation, they want to charge you and me and everybody else and every nation on earth more for the debt that they've issued. In other words, we are paying for their so-called mistake. They made no mistake. This is all by design. You know that. This is what I'm talking about. This is a criminal organization of the highest possible order. Nothing comes close to this, okay? And it's a curse upon the earth. But where's the revolution? Where's the revolt? It's nowhere. So you gotta play the game here. We weaponize the system against them. We know the game, we know what they're doing. So we bet against the debt. We become our own central banks. Uh, if you are so inclined, you get long the market here. You buy the market. I couldn't make this easier for any of you. I just released a whole new tra intraday trading system um, on an incredible scale. And they think, you see, and most people are just gonna lay down and just take it, unfortunately. They're gonna let themselves get sucked dry. They're gonna deal with the environment because the mainstream media is telling them the Fed's fighting. They're fighting, it's a real battle. Really, it's a real battle. Then why on, on, why on earth or off this earth are they not contracting the money supply? 
because they're trying to convince you. Remember yesterday, they, they had to dust off an old relic. Fed President Heller. Heller. Okay? They had to dust off Heller to come out and tell you or try to convince you that, hey, the money supply is shrinking. Oh, it's de definitely is. And you can go see it for yourself right on the Federal Reserve's website. Meanwhile, we know it's a, just a crock. Okay, let, show us the off-balance sheet stuff. So, show us the hundreds of billions we're sending over to here for that reason and for this reason. And for this all off-balance sheet, you don't see it. We don't have stockpiles of cash anywhere. It all has to be pulled out of the Fed, but you're not allowed to see that. Nobody is privy to that information. Nobody, not even the President of the United States, is allowed to see that. Federal Reserve, completely independent, can do whatever they want to, whenever they want to. They can lend money to any nation on earth, any person on earth, any, with, with no oversight whatsoever. And again, what are they doing? They're charging the world more for debt that they've uh, allowed this environment to metastasize. And it's a global problem with this inflation issue. Anyway, that's the situation, people. Um, I don't know another way to explain any of, of this. I think if you can grasp the concepts that I talk about every day, and a lot of them I repeat a lot, you are so far ahead of the curve.